Okay guys, so for the first step, once you're on Rainbow, you wanna head over to Options, and then you wanna head over to the Audio tab. You want to make sure that your master volume is not muted and you can set it to around 40. Then you wanna set your dynamic range to Hi-Fi, and then you wanna set your voice chat volume to 100. Then you want to scroll down, and then for the voice chat record mode, you wanna make it either push to talk or on open. You wanna set the voice chat record level to 100, and you wanna set the voice chat record threshold to around 30. Now for the second step, you wanna head over to your desktop, but you wanna keep Rainbow Six Siege open. Now you wanna head over to search and type in sound settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're gonna scroll down, and then we're gonna click on volume mixer, and then Rainbow should appear right here. You wanna set this to 100. When you see Rainbow, you wanna make it on 100. Then you wanna go back to sound, and you wanna scroll down again, and then you wanna click on more sound settings. You wanna head over to the recording tab, and then make sure that your headset or your microphone is set as a default device. You wanna click on it and then click on set default and then click on okay. Now for the third step, you can now close out Rainbow. Then once you close out Rainbow, we're gonna head over to Steam and then you wanna find Rainbow Six Siege. You wanna right click on it and then click on properties and then click on installed files and then you wanna click on verify integrity of game files. Now for the last step, you wanna head over to search and type in device manager, click on it. Now once you're on this, we're gonna expand audio inputs and outputs and then you wanna find your headset or your microphone. You wanna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.